Bath, England is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is named after its Roman baths. Its Georgian architecture is world famous as well and a bit mysterious. Start your visit at those Roman baths, one of the most visited historic sites in Northern Europe. They were built over the natural hot mineral springs during ancient Roman times. Then they were restored during the Victorian era. It is incredible to experience all that history in one place. When you think of a modern day spa, you know it's a place to go to relax and rejuvenate. But for the ancient Romans, the spa, or the baths, were believed to be sacred, created by the gods, and therefore a place to worship the gods. But let's be honest, there was a little socializing going on back then too. Socializing, gossiping, as well as worshiping the gods. For all these activities, an entire bath complex and Roman temple were built on this site. Now that we're rejuvenated from the baths, it is time for a walking tour of Bath's gorgeous Georgian architecture and its secrets. This is the Royal Crescent. Built in the late 1700s, it is one of the finest examples of Georgian architecture in the entire United Kingdom. The Royal Crescent is, of course, one of Bath's most iconic landmarks. At 500 feet long, it is a sweeping arc of elegant townhouses, forming a perfect half-moon shape around the Royal Victoria Park. It was designed to give the upper class of Bath a country home feel right here in the city. How lovely. Today, there's even a five-star hotel in the center of the Royal Crescent. What could be better? Next on our walking tour. This is Queen Square, a lovely little public park in the heart of Bath. It is historically significant because it was built in the 1730s as part of Bath's new town. The architect was John Wood the Elder, who also is responsible for most of what we see today in Bath. And as we are about to learn, he was a very interesting guy. John Wood the Elder is interesting because he was a Freemason and it is believed that he designed much of Bath's important buildings and squares in the shape of Masonic symbols. This is the circus, which is basically a really fancy roundabout here in Bath. It also was designed by John Wood the Elder and there are all kinds of fantastic theories about it. The first one is that when viewed from above, the circus along with Queen Square and an adjoining street together form the shape of a key. And the key is a very important Masonic symbol. Theory number two is that the size and shape of the circus mimics Stonehenge because John Wood the Elder believed that the Druids centered their life here. Theory number three is that the circus along with the nearby Royal Crescent together symbolize the sun and the moon. Just a few steps away from the circus, you won't find any hidden symbols, but you will find more jewels of Bath. This section of Bath is known as Margaret's Buildings. It dates back to 1769 and it is one of the best examples of Georgian architecture in the entire city. And as a bonus, today it is a charming little pedestrian street full of little shops and cafes. Next on our architecture tour is Bath Abbey, with its soaring Victorian Gothic architecture. Worshippers have been coming here for more than a thousand years. The first King of England was crowned on this spot. Near Bath Abbey is the River Avon, and it's also our last bit of historic Bath architecture, inspired by the Ponte Vecchio in Florence. Spanning the River Avon is Pulteney Bridge, named after the Pulteney family who owned much of the land here in Bath during Georgian times. When it was decided a new town needed to be built, they needed a new bridge too. But not just any bridge, it had to be beautiful. From Romans to Victorians to Georgians to the modern day, there are centuries of history and beauty to explore here in Bath. 